Everything is looking great out here. Candles on the pines are just about ready to burst. They've really extended quite far. Maples, some of these are really leafing out. Big silver maple. This smaller one has a small couple shoots coming out. Some of them look dead, maybe. Maybe a lot of the tips died off or they'll bud out later, not sure. This is a mountain ash, doing well up to here. I'll have to cut off all the dead stuff at some point. These two don't really look like they made it. Two maples doing really well. This one still not doing anything. Bunch of tulips opening up in the yard. Birch still has two buds coming out. Forgot to include this part earlier. This is just a few hours later in the day. But the spruce tips on this thing are looking amazing. There's so many coming out. Big fluffy looking. I'm going to prune some of them off. Do some kind of sele selective bud selection, I guess. The ones I take off. Probably just four or five. I want to try them anyways. I've never eaten a spruce tip or made a tea out of them or anything, so I'm going to give that a try. There's a whole bunch of buds coming out everywhere on this thing. It's looking looking real good this year for the first time, really, since I got it. Really excited to see how it develops throughout the year. That's about it for now. I'm finally going to pot up all these little pines here. Should have done it a while ago. Candles are really short on all of them, but seems like the needles are about to extend out, so I really should get to it now or never, really. Just need to make a bunch of soil first. Mix up my three ingredients, which are perlite, turfus, or safety zorb, same stuff Nigel uses, bonsai zone, and then some general potting mix. I sift out all the really fine particles for all three, and then put them all through a six millimeter mesh. So anything bigger than that is also sifted out. Okay, I'm just gonna get the show on the road. By my count, I've got 18 pine seedlings to pot up here. Pretty sure they're Eastern white pine. I've got eight pots over there. And the one that they're in, I'll use as number nine. I'm gonna put them in two to a pot to save space and time. And I only have nine of these pots left. So I figured that was a good, good way to do it. Two to a pot, we'll leave them in there for a couple years maybe. See what they turn into. It's been a few weeks since I did on my last repotting. Yeah, this is too late to be doing this. You can see all the white tips there.
should have done this weeks ago. I figured because the the candles, the needles were starting to sprout, I figured there'd be white growth on the root tips. So hopefully they won't all die on me. Hopefully it's not too, too late. I think I can get away with this still. They just really need to be not together as a clump of 18 trees. There's a lot of roots in there. to try somehow to get one tree out of here at a time or two of them I guess maybe I'll try to grab this little clump first oh wow some nice mold going on in there mycelium or whatever that term is the mold that grows in the roots of pine Leave those covered up in some sand right there for now. I don't want those white root tips to dry out on me. Need some water. Okay, so I've got four little ones here. ones first. I'm not gonna wash the roots off. Maybe I could do a little pruning. I only have these with me, it's okay. Just, just a little bit there. neighborhood noise I really needed to get get these repottings done couldn't pick and choose the quiet times of the day
three and four. I didn't say one and two for the last ones, but that was one and two, and this is pine number three and four. Back into these ones. Got another little grouping of four here. Maybe. Maybe five. One tree that died off. Maybe that's the one that was molding down there. Kind of feels like it's still alive, actually, but there's just nothing on the top. Okay, these two little ones first. Five and six. This is a pretty big one there. out of soil for sure this time. I always should make more than I think I need, or hope I need anyways. Number seven and eight. Gonna have to take another one off the big cluster. That's a good one right there. Some white roots all up in the middle there. Pull those off. Number nine and ten. Eleven and twelve.
13, 14. I don't mind if some of them are bent over like that. Give it some character as it grows up and straightens out. I think, because I only have soil enough for one more little pot, and I just have one more ready for potting. I'm just gonna I don't know, should I get rid of those or not? It's got all the growing tips. For this one, I'll leave everything. I'll just pile all the roots in there together. Make sure I repot it next year. Maybe I'll just Grow it as a little clump style for a fused trunk eventually. Just barely enough. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna do. A little artificial sinew wrap should do the trick. Well, that's pretty ugly looking, but we'll see what that turns into. Save every little last bit I can. Stray soil. And we'll put some of that sand on there to strengthen it up a little. This will be the only tree I have growing with a bunch of sand on the top like this, so we'll see what that does. Seen Nigel at the bonsai zone do that with some trees. Mostly it's with like a landscape or a forest, but... Eh. This isn't for looks, it was just kind of to firm up that soil on top. Keep everything from flopping over. Okay, so we'll call this tree number 15, 16, and 17. Maybe one day it'll just be one tree. This is my first attempt at a fused trunk tree. Don't know if it really works well with pines, but we'll see what happens. Cheers. Thanks for watching.